A new report found China, Russia, Iran, and Cuba all tried to meddle in the 2022 U.S. midterm elections. A declassified assessment says foreign government efforts to target the elections last year appeared to grow compared to 2018. The intelligence community assessed with high confidence China tried to influence a handful of midterm races involving members of both U.S. political parties. It adds Russia sought to denigrate the Democratic Party before the midterm elections. Overall, the assessment did not study the impact that campaign influence may have had on the election's outcome. In other national headlines, let's send it over to Alan Miller. Monica, President Biden says he's cracking down on price gouging across several industries. He's launched a new strike force that will root out illegal and unfair price hikes for prescription drugs, health care, groceries and housing. The Biden administration has also unveiled a new rule from the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau that slashes credit card late fees. Biden is focusing on it pocketbook, is, pocketbook issues that affect day-to-day -day life as he tries to sell his economic vision to the American people. Senator Robert Menendez is facing new obstruction of justice charges. The New Jersey Democrat and his wife were hit with two new counts tied to conspiracy to obstruct justice. The indictment alleges Menendez and his wife submitted checks to federal prosecutors they say were to repay a loan when no loan existed. The new counts bring the number of charges to 18. Menendez has pleaded not guilty to the previous charges. And one of the stories we're working on for First News at 6 will introduce you to the woman who's competing in the uh, Diderot Trail Invitational for the third time. Back to you, Monica.